Today's big question, why do Americans spell tire with an I instead of a Y like the British do? You see, growing up in Britain, I always knew the spelling to be T-Y-R-E. But upon moving to the United States, I soon realized that the outer wheel of my bike was now represented by a different combination of letters. T-I-R-E, tire, as in both the Goodyear product and the verb to tire, as in to become absolutely knackered. So why did those silly Americans change the spelling in the first place? they didn't. Before the 1800s, the two countries both favoured the I spelling in part because the word was derived from attire, in other words, clothing for the wheel. But then in the 1840s, perhaps in an effort to return the word to its 15th century spelling, the English decided it needed a Y. At first, this spelling was applied to pneumatic tyres specifically, but took on a broader meaning as the century wore on. For a time, British people used both spellings interchangeably before the Y spelling eventually won out. Americans either didn't get the memo, or didn't care. 